All right guys, hotel workout part one coming at you. And my main philosophy when I'm traveling is to not get worse. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a simple workout you can use. Most hotels have a stack of dumbbells, some type of universal machine. If they don't have that, I've got a ton of body weight workouts that you can look up on YouTube and check out. But uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do three rounds. There's two different types of circuits. So you're gonna heat, hit each one of those for three rounds. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, we're going to start off with lat pull downs. It's some type of a machine that you're pulling down, kind of simulate the pull up motion. I want to get 12 heavy reps there, meaning the last two are almost impossible to get, so make sure you got the right weight. As soon as you complete that, you're going to come over here. You're going to get the dumbbells really close inside and keep, let your elbows fold into your body. You don't want them flaring out like a chicken wing, okay? Then you got 15 close grip push ups. And then once you bust out that 15, I want you to come up here and you're going to do five squat presses with really heavy weight. Make sure that five is all you can get. And this is really going to jack that heart rate up if you got the right weight. Okay, as soon as you get done with that, don't really have a great place to do calf raises. So I'm just going to use this for a little balance. Have a dumbbell for extra weight and I'm doing one legged calf raises. Going to get 12 on both sides here. Okay, I'm just going to swap the arms up, do the same thing again on this side, get another 12 out. Still breathing heavy because the squat presses are pretty intense. So that's circuit one. I'm going to hit that three rounds, and then I'm going to start something totally different. All right, and we're going to start it off with some tricep extensions. Basically using that pull-down machine, you're going to give a little lighter weight. Uh, you can use a slightly different attachment if you want to, but this is going to work just fine. I'm going to keep my chest up. And push those hands kind of out and away from me. Really going to get the back of the arms firing right there. All right, as soon as you get done with that, we're going to go into another pull motion. Here's how we're going to do this. I'm, I'm doing a motion for stability and balance at the same time. If you don't have the same setup, you can... Uh, you know, you can just do some other type of low row type motion. So, Got one foot up on the bench, and I'm just doing a row basically with the uh, universal machine right here. If they don't have this type of setup, again, you could probably set up some kind of other low row motion where you're pulling it right up under the rib cage. I'm going to do a 12 repetition there, and then I'm going to come over here and do squat high pulls. But it's just like this. done with that I'm going to do 20 shrugs oh, and that's going to be circuit number two I'm going to hit that circuit for three rounds and again you know when you're traveling on vacation the thing you're trying not to do is get worse if you really want to burn some body fat you want to hit about a good 15 20 minute run after that it's going to really burn a lot of calories if you really want to get after it, you can add a fourth round on both those sequences but that workout that I just showed you alone will definitely keep you maintained. And so you don't go back to reality, go back to uh, you know, your normal lifestyle and have to start all over again.